Okay, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. This is this, uh, challenging, right? But here, but here we go. So for finger styles, we start with the G minor. I think that'll be enough to, uh, to start with <laughs> anyway. Okay, so first we got a G minor. We can play that in a couple of different places, but the right voicing for it would probably be up here. Uh, uh, that is G minor, and it is starting at the sixth fret. Then a C at the uh, at the fifth uh, third fret. C six right. Then an F. This is nice because it's an add nine. You could just go with your pinky finger. Uh, and then to the uh, B, uh, this is a B flat. That's tricky because I'm, I'm uh, the melody note is the first fret of the E string, then the third fret. So it's going to go F, F, G, F, E flat, uh, D, like so. That's a tricky one. Now the G minor again, but we're doing that in the third position. B flat over F. Now to the E flat, right? Not the uh, not the F, but the E flat. So all told again. So here we go. This is slow. This this is a challenge, as I said, but it, but interesting though. So I should have put up the uh, the chord shapes for you here. Again, this is the kind of thing that you can do. It could take quite quite a while to do this to get comfortable with it. But try to get your fingers in the right spot. Take your time. Listen to the tune. That first, it's just gorgeous. That tune, right? And this part right here has some lovely harmonies. And what I did was I just took some of the harmonies, some of the vocal harmonies, and applied those to some, some fairly straightforward uh, chord shapes. Uh, so for what it's worth. Have some fun with this first part of Bohemian Rhapsody.